Junior Doctors. Welcome back to Junior Doctor Fiona Chow's YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about the new Delta variant. So lately on the news, it has been talking about the Delta variant and what it is and how transmissible is it and how serious it is. So today, let's discuss about that. First of all, according to the CNN Health section, um, it is spreading really fast. So one of the statistics is that in the U.S., the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention now estimates the variant accounts for 26% of new COVID-19 cases, or at least that it did as of June 16th. It's been reported in all 50 states, plus Washington, D.C. So according to that statistic, we could know how fast it has been transmitting because in just such a small period of time, it has been all over the 50 states. And partly, I believe, that it is due to the mask off, I guess, resolution of the United States since the vaccine, since everybody, most people were vaccinated. Um, and I think that contributed to partly of why it's the Delta variant is tra transmitting faster than, bef than before when it was the coronavirus, the original part. Um, and secondly, another one of it from England is that the data from England has shown that it outcompeted the Alpha variant in that population. That is a strong head-to-head -head evidence that it is a better transmitter. Andrew Pakis, a professor of immunology and molecular biology at Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health, told CNN. So as it can be seen, it's not only in America that the transmitting rates are getting higher and higher, it's also happening in England and in pretty much every part of the world that has already been introduced to the Delta variant. And secondly, the vaccines, it does protect against it. However, because there hasn't been a booster shot yet, so that it's not as perfect as protecting um, the person from the Delta variant as from the original coronavirus, COVID-19, in other words. So in recent news, it has shown that the Delta variant is much, much more transmissible in non-vaccinated states in America, while compared to the vaccinated states of America. So it could be seen that the vaccine does help against it. However, it's not perfect at it because there's still some limits to the vaccines. And because this mutation has become, it mutated into such much more efficient of transmitting the coronavirus or COVID-19 amongst the human population, it has become so much more efficient at that. So it's much easier to transmit it between vaccinated people. So thirdly, and most importantly, is that the Delta variant is still transmitting similar to the original coronavirus or the COVID-19. So that means that it is transmitted through the small water molecules, um, saliva, um, uh, between the human population. So it transmits the same as the original COVID-19. So that shows that we still have to protect ourselves using the masks, um, the hand sanitizers, and that's really, really important. So let's stop that discussion for right now and remember to eat healthy, exercise, and enjoy life. Thank you so much for watching and hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Thank you and see you next time.